In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control your trajectory by adjusting your setup on a normal pitch shot. We've got Hannah here to kind of demonstrate and help you guys to understand what you need to do to hit a low, medium, and high shot with the same wedge. Obviously, you can just change wedge to hit a lower shot, but that ball might roll out a little bit more than you want to, so you can actually do it all with a 60 degree if you know how to set up to the golf ball. So first of all, set up to use a stock mid-flight pitch shot. Okay. And what you're gonna see here from good players is that the hands are more directly underneath the shoulders. There's a little bit of a hinge already where the handle is a little bit lower in the wrist that helps them to kind of set it slightly in the backswing and release it in the follow through, right? Okay, so give us just a mid flight to this uh, pin. Nice shot. A little bit strong, but there was definitely a mid flight there. So the adjustments I want you to make now, let's say you hit, uh, you want to hit a low one, okay. okay? That comes out a little bit lower. So take your normal setup first. Then all I want you to do is to step much, much closer to the golf ball so you get the shaft more vertical. Good. And you can see here also the wrist angle change here. So if you stand closer to the golf ball and the hands get higher, you have less set in the wrist. Okay. Okay. So we actually want to maintain the angles you have in the wrist now and don't see too much set in the backswing. This okay. is going to create a wider arc which makes it easier to be a little bit more shallow and get that ball to launch a little bit lower. So feels like putting. Yeah, it feels a little bit like putting, right? Staying closer to the ball, golf ball, maintain the wrist in that position and go from there. Nice, you can see the lower flight there. Mm -hmm. Much, much better. And then the high shot. What am I gonna tell you guys now, right? We moved closer when we wanted to hit the low one. So what are we gonna do now when we wanna hit the high one? Step back. Exactly, so we wanna move further away from the golf ball, which is what, gonna do what? It's gonna lower, lower the, the handle, handle, right? And allow us to have more wrist set in the backswing and follow through. So the lower it is, the more angle we have in the wrist, which will help us to set the club in the backswing and then release it in the follow through and have a more narrow, steeper arc, which will help us to launch the ball up and you can also slightly open up the club face in this, okay. okay? So give us a high, beautiful shot and absolutely dunk it there, come on. Okay. Beautiful, we even hit the roof here. The whole <laughs> thing is falling down, look at that shot. There we go. Beautiful, so if you want to adjust your trajectory with your wedge, mess around with the distance, you're standing from the golf ball and realize that that's gonna cause you to, or that's gonna help you to change the arc length in your stroke, so the uh, further away you stand from the golf ball, the more wrist set and the more narrow arc you're gonna have, the closer you stand to the golf ball, the less wrist set you're gonna have and the wider arc which is gonna help you to change the trajectory. So, a uh, great demonstration. Give it a go and become better around the green.